this is Ruthie from Ruthie's Notions. I'm standing out in front of our beautiful new event center and shop. And me and Sarah, a few weeks ago, we did this shirt with a K faucet, um, 10 inch cake pack. And we took nine pieces for the front, some for the sleeves in the back and finished it all on the serger. It does a gorgeous job and it won't ravel. And we put it all together and we just did a video for y'all to watch to see how easy it is to make this t-shirt we just did a class a couple weeks ago the ladies absolutely loved it everyone's turned out so beautiful everyone did one split down the front like a little jacket just so many different ways they did it and um the class was one of the really it was a really fun class everyone had a good time so watch the video i think you're gonna love it you'll get a lot of tips on how to put a shirt together how i do my 10 minute shirt but and show you how sarah is going to show you some awesome things that she did with it so i hope you'll watch it enjoy it and just leave us a message how you like it. Thank you so much again. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey, this is Ruthie. Sarah had this wild idea this morning. We went back there and we had these Cape Aussie Free Spirit Charm Packs. 10 inch Charm Packs. So what me and her are doing, we're making us some cool looking t-shirts out of this gorgeous fabric. So what we did is we placed the charm pack and fixed the colors like we like them. I needed three across and three down. That'll be enough to fit for my blouse, the front of my blouse. And I got one for the back. And then I have some extras I'm going to use for this, that, and other. And then I have two, um, six of them on each side for my sleeves. Okay, so I'm not wanting to cut any of this off. I just want to shave it. So I'm going to butt it up to the inside of this cutter and just start sewing. So once we have that piece together, then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. So we're going to take our fabric, then take our other piece Flip it over, right sides together, line it up, same thing. three fabrics sewn together. Next, we're just gonna keep repeating this process and then we're gonna sew our threes together. So once we have our three pieces sewn together, I just keep them kind of in the block I want, the pattern I want to keep it at. And then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it over like sides together. And then we're gonna be sewing along this side. Now you can press it before you do it. I'm personally not. I'm just gonna line up all of these, get those out of the way. And I like to do one facing up one facing down with my stitches it, help, it helps keep a flatter seam so we got this one pointing down and this one pointing up when we're sewing but our seams are right next to each other And you keep on repeating until you have your front, 
your back piece, and your two shoulders. So now we're gonna press them and iron the seam straight, and then we're gonna work on cutting our shirt out. I need this about between two and three right there. This is my favorite is seven. I just like that. And I got this on normal because I'm not gathering it. I got this on A because I'm doing four threads. And then when I want to get really close to do the neck, I'm going to put it on one so I'll get a close gorgeous stitch. But when I'm putting it together like this, the front to the back, I just want the regular stitch. So I get ready for the neck. And then I'm going to open this up and put my wrong sides facing each other like this. See? That's my front, that's my back. So I'm going to do one shoulder seam at a time, this one right here. Okay, I'm going to put it down. You want the neck to line up. If this don't line up, we got we can finagle that. So let's just open our presser put up, and we just want to take a tad off. Just itsy bitsy. I think I'm going to do it. Let's do it this way. Sewing the shoulder together for me, trying to line it up just right. I am so excited. And you always want to leave a little tail so it don't ravel on you. So just leave you a little tail. And then you're going to come and open this like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this really close like that. And I'm just going to let it go real slow. I'm going to turn my speed down so I don't accidentally my foot get half and go too fast. Watch this, you're going to love it. See, I'm trying not to take part of anything off. And just shave off the little whiskers. Let that dangle off off the side there. Can you stand it? We're going to keep driving until we get all around it. Look how gorgeous this thread is. It's called Decor 12 by the Beer. Is that gorgeous or what? Can you stand it? That's the neck. Now i got to put this one together with this. Now for this sleeve, i got to put my stitch length back between the two and the three. And what I'm going to do is what we call a star tack. A star tack. What does that do? It's going to lock this neck in so it doesn't ravel and it holds it together pretty. This, one of my friends taught me this a long time ago, Lou. Let me just put this up here and get it started. And what you want to do is when you get up close, you want to stop and you want to turn the hand wheel so you don't go too fast. Get your foot off that pedal so you don't slip and get happy. And just put about two stitches down in it, maybe one more. Put the stitches down in it, raise your presser foot, pull this little tilt gently to the back and whip it down near that blade there. Put your foot back down. Can you stand it? Pause just for a second. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna let it cut this excess off here. And see that locked it in, and it called it. That's what we call star tap. See. And this is the wrong side. And then if I flip it this way, you'll see how pretty the neck looks. If I don't. See the front dip? Is that so pretty? Can you stand it? Now I'm going to take the sleeves and this is my back. This is the front. So I'm going to get my sleeves and let's see which one's which. That's the back. And it'd be nice. Stay put. I'm going to just line this up here. Sort of get it right about there. I'm going to sort of start at an angle. Sort of like that. You want to go slow. You are putting two curves together. So you want to watch what you're doing on this side here so you're not missing it. Don't get happy and whoop with what I did. Uh -uh. It might take you an hour, but just take your time. It's not going to take no hour, but go slow and do it right. And watch what you're doing. Go real slow because what you're doing is you're working two curves together. There you go. See? 
I love, love, love this. Isn't this fabric magnificent? I absolutely love the color combination. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm working my curves around. And if this don't line up, don't worry. We can trim it when we get to the back part. But right now, it's doing beautiful. See, just make sure you're getting both. If you miss one, you're going to have a big hole, y'all. You don't want that. So go slow and watch what you're doing. Drive very carefully and keep working the two. Don't worry about this being off. I'm trimming that. It'll be fine. I'll just trim it with my scissors and leave a little tail so it don't wrap them. Okay, I've got a sleeve in. Can you stand it? I just got to put the other sleeve in. Woo, is that thing gorgeous? Can you stand it? That's pretty. I know. I love it. It is like gorgeous. Here's this part. See, here's my big double for the back. I always put a double for the single front. I put a single so I know my back for my front. Once you get your pattern to fit you like you love it, you just cut one out of some, you know, tear away or something or some no shell mesh and then you'll have a pattern that works okay i'm just going overlapping them once i get it started go real slow and just gently and make sure you're not catching it just right here you just want to make sure you're going real slow and just take a little off make sure it cuts your little thing off. see just do a little at a time just a little at a time See, I'm just doing a little bit of time. Itsy bitsy. And I'm so glad. See how gorgeous we serge this together? You can piece quilts. But this has a blouse. I'm so excited. You have some of the cutest clothes you ever saw in your life. Everybody be wanting it. And you got an original. Nobody has one like this. See, this one's just a little bit like the other side. Just a little smudge, smidge. Bigger, but we'll take care of it with our serger. I love it. It just straightens it up. Now, can you stand it? Here we go, y'all. Wait till you see this. Now I gotta sew the underarms together. Do my thing around the bottom and the top, and we are good. Look at this. It looks like a poncho right now. I know. It could about be one. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. What do you think? I am excited. Put it together. Got any ideas, Sarah Jane? Do you need to put in the ruffles now? You're gonna that's the reason that the ruffle what you could do is when you get this together i think that's a little if we do the blouse like if we do the sleeves and yeah and then if we want to we get this side up then we can come around with the ruffle and then do the other side and hook it i don't know we how can do that later yeah let's just make us a blouse and you can wear it i can't stand it can you we can do other stuff later this is our pilot one <laughs> We just started out in the room back there. We have all this gorgeous fabric and picked this out this morning and went to town trying it out. Now, this is real important, y'all. Get this really good. You do one down. This is under the arm. You do one down and one baby up. Can you stand it? Okay, it see? Keeps together. Yeah, and that when the presser foot hits it, it keeps it together. See? Now, I'm putting this together like this. And you want to hold this with this hand. And you want to guide it through with that hand. See? Can you stand it? Just take a little bit off. Don't get happy. And I'm holding this tight with this hand. And I'm going to ease off and hold it together with that finger. I'm pressing down on it. So don't whip out of there on me. Get that little string that's inside. And get it. I got it out. Then sort of take this with this. I'm holding that tight. Okay. See how that edge was a little bit? And you got to drive in straight because you can't do crooked with the serger. You got to drive straight into the knife a little bit. See how it just fixed it for me? Don't you just love it? And then I'll just do this. We're getting there slow, but sure. Might be a little. I used to spend 10, 12 hours a day making whole wardrobes for people. Okay, this is gonna be just a little off, but that's not no biggie because the good part is we just fix it when we get all done. What's real important is the seam under the arm. That's why I'm keeping it together. I'm holding it down with my left hand. See that little extra I had? I'm just letting the surgery cut it off for me and then I'm easing down the side. I'm just evening it out. And coming off. See how pretty it's lining up at the bottom? Just perfect. Here we go. Okay, now we're finishing this gorgeous shirt up and you're ready to wear and just no time at all. Now, what I'm going to do is a sleeve, and I'm going to go around the bottom, okay? 
this leaf did perfect it's awesome so what i'm going to do is it might be purple on the inside and blue on the outside but it's going to all pull together if you know what i mean sort of so now i'm going to come here and i'm going to put this just about on one and i'm going to start at the underarm here so everybody's not going to see where i have to go on and come off so i'm going to raise my presser foot and just ease that just right there about where that is because i'm going to go start here and come off there like so i'm just shaving it see, i'm just taking the hair off i'm speeding it now i'm not see if i want to go faster i can go faster but i don't want to get happy and get too fast so i'm behaving myself go a little slower because you want it to be gorgeous When I get here, y'all, I'm going over this stitch and off, and I might put this on lock like that, so I won't be cutting none by accident. When I get to a certain point, I'll show you. Coming up on it. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my lock on. I'm going over my stitching. Turn it back on where I didn't cut no stitching, and just trim it close, and by going over it just a hair, we'll keep that from raveling out on you, and nobody's gonna look under your arm to see a few little stitches there. Can you stand it? Is that just too cute? Can you stand it? See how pretty? Don't you just love it? Now I gotta do this side. What do you think, Sarah Jane? That looks good. I gotta do this one. Looks good. Here we come, y'all. Now we're going to trim this off and come into here. I'm going to turn it on lock. And trim it close because I overwent, I overlapped it. So it's not going to, um, you know, come out. It's, it's there. Like the neck, how's that sounding? I'm going to have to come under here. I will have to overlap it on one side, but it won't be that noticeable. You might could put a cute button there, like who knows what else you might. Or just fine, nobody's going to look that close. I'm picking up my presser foot. I'm going to start sort of right there. And this time it's going to be the purple on the outside. I think it's going to make it gorgeous. And that I want on seven. This right there. Come on, get out of my way. Don't, don't run your fingers in there while that's going to Shaving all them little extra strings off. I mean, this fabric is magnificent. Look how gorgeous the colors and the detail. We want to go slow here because, see, we clipped it, and if we don't, it could unravel on it. So we're going to ease this up real nice and slow, and we fix it. You're seeing a first ever at Reese's Notions in Baker, Florida. We ain't never done one like this before, honey child. Can you stand it, Sarah Jane? Mm -hmm. You can see it's a little loose, so you're just going to catch it. And that just keeps it from going whoop like that and getting undressed when you didn't want to. <laughs> Mimi's being silly. Look at the gorgeous colors. Is that just glorious? I just love, love, love this fabric. Now go slow over that because see how it wants to pull this a little It looks like a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of ribbon. Next time, I think, you know, there's just so many different things you can do. Different types of ribs. So you get that real slow. It seals that body. And look at them gorgeous teals. And the color, the colors are just, I love it. That thread, the way they designed it, almost looks three-dimensional. Here we come in this lower too. I love it. Here, we're coming to the end. Can you believe how fast we went around it? I'm easing in. I'm going to go over this and off and turn my blade off so I don't accidentally cut it. You see how it's just attached? I'm fixing it with my circle. There we go now. Let that cut it off. Now turn this so I don't cut it to lock. And I locked it on the bottom there. You don't have to put no, nothing on it. It won't unravel because we come off of it. And it's not that bad. It's just on that little bottom. Nobody's going to notice it. 
and we got an original Sarah. You're gonna get try this baby on model. It, it is like so cute. Can you Show the back, it? huh? Beautiful. It is gorgeous. I love it. Hey everybody, it's Sarah from Ruthie's. This is the final product. So I am so in love with this. It's so gorgeous. Um, so this is the front and then this is the back. There's so many different ways you can make this shirt. Um, we actually did a class with it and there were so many different variations that people did. Um, and they sent pictures and it was so awesome getting to see them and um, the different ways they made it, putting their own touches to it and stuff like that. We had one lady split it down the middle and make a robe out of it. It was gorgeous. Um, there's just so many different things. If you like this type of content or you want to see something different, um, just comment down below. We do videos on all sorts of stuff. Um, but we really do hope you enjoyed this um, video. We had so much fun, again, at making this shirt and just being creative and having fun. That's what it's all about. Um, but yeah, if you like this stuff, just like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate y'all so much. Um, and yeah, just give us new ideas of what videos you're interested in. And yeah, I hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye.